Greetings, everyone, with Ray Ferraro down near the ice. Eddie Olchek getting some ice cream, but he's back alongside. This is Mike Emery. Glad you're with us tonight because this is going to be a dandy. Two teams from the Wild West. It's a game between Arizona and the Colorado Avalanche. For thoughts on the game, here's Eddie. These two teams both need the W here tonight. I can see him playing it safe early, but the question is, which team will make the first mistake? Arizona's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. The Coyotes didn't play well enough to score, and the place goes nuts. Ansel's wrist shot was heavy and quick. That's the shot there, Edzo, low to the stick side. The goaltender can't get to it. Arizona's gotten the crowd into it early. And rightfully so. The energy they play with has been terrific. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Good pass off the boards. Back in front. Shot. He scores! And that is number 20. goals you got to get to this area of the ice Enzo I got a good look at this one he's in the butterfly it looks from my position like he's got the entire net covered obviously there's a little bit open they win the draw and will now set up an attack and the puck taken hold of by Barron Skate kick out of the scrum. The Avs carrying it through the neutral zone. Good defensive work there. Freezes play. They win it. Shoots one. Not through. Puts one on. What a save. I was waffle boarded. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Arizona's fans sitting behind their net got up and showed their respect by bowing to him after that huge save. A little under six minutes played in the first. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. To Bowling. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Looking to Headman up the wing. Nicely into the zone. Poke checked away by Ekman Larson. Right winged to Bowling. Decides he wants the corner. And he's held up. Just a backhand. And that one turned aside. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here. But the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop. And he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Colorado's got a face-off win. Colorado's in their own end, carrying it on. Let's it go. Gonged away. Pitching this one to Domi. The Coyotes through the neutral zone, ready the next attack. Boschemann's lugging it in his own end, headed northward. Coyotes talk about their mantra of blocking shots. Well, over the last few games, it's remarkable how many they've got in front of. Arizona's got it. Oh, and a great opportunity denied by that pad. Carries it to the corner. Terrific hand-eye. Free puck off a defender. That roadblock was set up. 
Arizona's in possession through the neutral zone. Looking from the corner. Moving well with it between the blue lines. And it's a good pick up. The Coyotes have control of the puck through the neutral zone. Great job on a cut pass. And he'll hold on. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. The Coyotes have it in the defensive zone. Moved along and in. Has it in his own end. Colorado's on the move up the wing. Keeps it going behind the goalie. Propelled to Duchesne. Two sticks together, they cancel. Pitching it to Reeder. Nearing the final minute of play. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Lots on that to Ekman Larson. To Landeskog. Gets that return pass. Period. Laid on to Polak. Shoots. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Let's go, Arister. Oh, what a pad save. First period has ended, and a strong early lead has been built. We turn to the shots on goal. Heavy totals for one, very light for the other. An impressive 15 for Arizona and six for Colorado. The Coyotes, on the strength of this goal, have bolstered their lead. More coming up in just a moment. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? The Avs are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. To Domi. Let's it go. And it's turned aside. Trying to go to Polak. Chip to Duchesne. On to Polak. And a save. Gets play stopped. Smith's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save and he makes it look really easy. Good job on the draw. The Coyotes through the neutral zone have it. Pointed to Hansel. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Polak's going to the box, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Coyotes go on the power play for the first time. Penalty to number 24. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 52 seconds. Colorado's on the power play now that they've killed off the penalty. A shot. Save. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. To Polak. He gains the zone. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Back near the blue line to Weirkoch. Marvelous save by Smith. Smith's looking awfully confident after that outstanding stop. I'm sure he's looking to make a little bit more eye contact with the shooter. The Coyotes have killed it all. Slid to Polak. Good intercept. Arizona's in their own end and in control of the puck. A shot got in front of another one. Solid work there by Weirkoch. 
Loose puck regathered by Duchesne. Into the attacking end. Heads on behind. Superb defensive play by McGinn. Colorado's in their own end and controlling the play. Moves up the side with it now. 49 goals, Doc. You know he'd love to get just one more. Score! No hesitation at all. He fired home that wrist shot. Duchesne's able to clear open ice, and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. <laughs> Moving it to Doan. Scooped up by Tootin. Colorado's moving it up the wing. Propelled to Landeskog. Fires. He missed the net. He wanted to go right underneath the bar there, Doc. You see a shot elevate from the 15-foot area in front of the net, and he misses over top of the net. Gathered in by two. He's pinned and held at the boards. Kicked out of the scrum. Colorado's got it in their own end, hoping for center. The abs wheel it up the wing. Laid on. Oh, what a save. Loose puck gathered by Weirkoch. Looking to Jelen. Colorado's controlling play along the boards. Nice job. Straight stand-up poke check. Loose puck knocked away by Landeskog. To McGinn. Gains the zone. Shoots one. Save. Loose, but he froze it. Stoppage of play. Forty minutes have been played here, and still more to go. A well-deserved rest is at hand. All right, time to turn to the shots on goal and look at some impressive totals. 25 for the Coyotes and 16 for the Avalanche. The Avs, with the scoring of this goal, have clawed their way back closer. We'll see if there's momentum from this when we continue after this. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? The Coyotes have had their way offensively, putting up a bunch of goals here through the first two periods of play. Let's see how they play it the rest of the game. Do they sit back or do they look to add to their comfortable lead? To Domi. Domi's creating chances for his teammates with two assists so far. Shoots. Great point blank save. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Puck grab. They're ready to go. Shoots. That hit somebody. Perfect tip by the stick. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Polak's had an outstanding season. Every time it seems he gets a chance to score, he's able to finish it. And that's all with being the focus of the other team. The Avs with a face-off win. Chip to Landeskog. Brilliant lift. Say, they score! They only trail by a pair. Landis got skating, got him to the front of the net, and was able to put in that second chance opportunity. Smith's effort is exemplary here. He does everything he can to try and make the stop here. Just not enough. Colorado's goal gets them to within two. And we are in the third period, and there's still time for them to strike back. Colorado's collected another victory on the faceoff. The Avs want to generate something up the wing. Around to the corner. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Gains the zone. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance.
Nice face-off work. The Avs through the neutral zone, controlling play now. Muscled long to pull off. Let's it fly. Just missed the net with that one. Here's one of those times where you look at it. He scores! A tremendous recovery. They've got life and time. Landeskog's decision was pretty easy. This low in a slot, just snap it off, and he did. Well, the goalie can only shake his head. He feels he should stop every shot on the glove side. He doesn't get to this one. The Avs have gotten an enormous goal, tying this game and a bumpy ride to the finish here in the third. Neutra zone face off one. Possession established here. Let's it go. Score! He's got his second of the game. Polak's quick hands allowed him to snap that one off and score the goal. Unlike the glove side, the goalie doesn't have to catch this. He's just got to get his blocker on it. I don't know how he misses this one. Colorado's got the lead now by one. Third period of play, it'll be a wonderful finish. Colorado's got it off the draw at center. Number 24, assisted by number to Polak. Polak's been great at creating chances. Outstanding save, difficult opportunity. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. The out center of offense is this player. He is among the highest total points in the league. He has such creativity if it's not him scoring the goal. He's so good to play with as his wingers just have to get open. The Coyotes with a clean win on the draw. To Domi. In front! Carries it to the corner. Duclair is tripped up. That should be a penalty. Polak's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately, caught the player's skates. Colorado penalty for number 24. Two minutes for tripping. Time to the penalty. 12 minutes, 23 seconds. Arizona's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Directing that one to Ekman Larson. Pass attempt to Domi. Slides it to the point to Duclair. That shot came from nowhere. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Terrific pass, but a terrific hit. And another save there. Looking for options. Turned away. Nice play by the goaltender to freeze it up and get a whistle. Polak's an aggressive player, but his aggressiveness sometimes crosses the line. Well, I guess not sometimes. He has among the highest total penalty minutes in the league. He's going to sit again. Nearing the last minute of the third period. Well, now it's directed to Murphy. In the third period. Puck is thrown to Doan. Oh, what a play! And he motors on through the neutral zone. Gets in. What'll he do? Gathered in by Duchesne. He scores! And that's the hat trick. There won't be many on the ice, if any. But he's got three goals. The goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go, and beat the goaltender clean. Smith's anticipating the shot. He's in the right position. But because he's down, it beats him up over the glove. Arizona's prevailed again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. Puck loose, good defense. The Coyotes have to take a chance here. They pull their goalie. Gets behind the net and looks to the front. Wonderful block. Nice work by Gabriel Landeskog. Up the wing still with possession. Net empty. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. Passing one off now to Domi. Whoa, what a play! Shoots! Score!
White's quick wrist shot surprised the goaltender in close. And so just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter. You still have to move. He looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move. Bad guess. The Coyotes have struck back, only trailing by a single goal, and we're in the dramatic third period. And that's this one. Colorado's recorded a victory, and that's another one in a row. It doesn't seem to matter who the opponent is because this team is really executing effectively on their game. That's another win, and the streak continues. Terrific contest. Two teams gave their very best. See you next time.